When ordering a steak, people expect to get their money's worth. Chris McDonald, chef and owner of Chris McD's restaurant, tries to select the best cuts of beef for his customers. They definitely are looking for flavor. Um, they're, they're looking for a juicy, tender cut of meat. They want the best. A steak grated prime is not always tender, but with the help of science, that could soon change. A University of Missouri researcher is part of a team that sequenced the bovine genome and is now working to improve cattle production and steaks. It's revolutionizing the beef and the dairy industries. Jerry Taylor, MU professor of animal science, developed a genetic identification tool from this research. Glass slides called SNP chips, single nucleotide polymorphism, will take some of the guessing out of raising cattle. Using that information, producers can decide which animals they're going to keep in the herd um, and breed to produce the next generation of replacements and, and which ones should leave the herd because they're just not up to scratch. The SNP chips can identify DNA markers for important traits in cattle. Researchers place the DNA from a young bull on the chip to do a genetic readout on the animal. If we're able to identify the animals that can grow rapidly and eat limited amounts of food, uh, we can certainly save cost in terms of the production of beef. This will also reduce the environmental impact of the cattle industry. Taylor says as more producers adopt the technology, the cattle population will improve, ultimately enhancing the quality of beef on the market and reducing the chances of someone cutting into a tough steak. Now if we have genotypes that can be used to, as diagnostics for meat tenderness, um, that's going to help us improve the, the eating quality of that steak. So in the end, it may be up to chefs like Chris McDonald to determine how good a steak will be. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.